Right now at 6, deadly police-involved shooting. A Boynton Beach family is demanding answers and taking action after their loved one was shot and killed by a police officer on I-95. The family of Corey Jones is speaking out tonight. They want an independent investigation into his death following a confrontation with a Palm Beach Gardens police officer. CBS 4 sets down is live in Palm Beach Gardens tonight with a story that's making headlines across the country, Ted. Yeah, Elliot, that family is praying for strength and they're also praying for answers. They're going to have a prayer service here tonight. This is their church in Boynton Beach. Then tomorrow comes a real push for answers. That's when they're planning a rally. Corey Jones was best known for his drumming ability. He was in a band and played this drum set at his Boynton Beach church. Now he's gone after breaking down on an I-95 exit ramp. He was shot and killed by a plainclothes Palm Beach Gardens police officer, Nauman Raja, who was in an unmarked car. This shouldn't have happened because he didn't pull him over. He was, uh, he was broken down. Corey's uncle and the rest of his family and friends are stunned that the church-going, laid-back man was killed while waiting for roadside assistance after a gig Saturday night. Officer Raja described a different man, one who was armed and confronted him. The handgun was found on the ground outside the vehicle. Mr. Jones purchased the handgun three days before the officer involved shooting. At the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department, work crews are getting ready for a rally on Thursday. It's called a rally for answers. The family believes investigators are not releasing enough information. We don't know how many times he was shot. We don't know uh, whether he was shot in the back. The family has hired civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump. He also represented Trayvon Martin's family after the South Florida teen was shot and killed by Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman. What he needed from the police was a helping hand and all he got was bullets. The Black Caucus in Tallahassee is weighing in too. We now call upon Governor Scott to immediately start an independent investigation and restore the public's confidence in Palm Beach Gardens investigation. Governor Rick Scott told investigators that his office is ready to help along with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. I'll monitor the investigation and, uh, and I, I, I believe in our law enforcement. Uh, they're doing the right things. Um, that's why we're at a 44 year loan on crime rate. And Corey Jones' family put out a statement just a few moments ago saying that uh, Corey was a God-fearing man who dedicated his life to doing the right thing. It went on to say that he lived every moment to the fullest and was an inspiration to many. Tomorrow morning, the family is going to have a news conference at 9 o'clock along with their attorney. And then that, uh, that rally is set for 10 o'clock at the police department. Live in Boynton Beach, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News. Ted, thanks a lot. Big